well, I'm filming in a new location today. Basically because I got my office together and I just wanted to show off really. It's so pretty! Okay, so my name is Kiera Judge. I'm a Nissan Generation Next Ambassador and it is time to talk about my February. So February was supposed to be a pretty quiet month for me because I was kind of going to settle down and think about school a little bit more, especially with the leaving cert coming up. Um, as with almost everything in my life, it didn't turn out that way. Um, in fact, it has ended up being a relatively busy month. First of all, on the first day of my pre when I was just settling down to school, my TEDx teen talk went up online. So I was pretty surprised because it had only been about two weeks since I had given the talk in the O2 Arena in London, but I was very, very happy and it was a bit weird looking back on it, like I kept looking back on it and being afraid that I was gonna mess up. So exciting as seeing the TEDx talk up online was, it was even more exciting as I saw the views start rolling in. So as of this weekend, um, it had more than 11,000 views and it's kind of climbing up pretty steadily which is pretty cool uh, but also I'm like damn 11,000 people have seen me in my pajamas but you know what that's life I mean I'm pajama girl now and I'm okay with that something kind of funny was that joe.ie actually featured my TEDx on their site uh, citing me as an Irish genius which I don't really think is true but it was nice of them to say that anyway. It was also so touching how after my TEDx talk went up online, the amount of compliments I got and the amount of people who said that the message that I was sharing is one that they identified with. So it was nice to see that people actually liked to hear what I had to say. In fact, uh, UNICEF Ireland tweeted me saying that they heard that I was one of the highlights of the day, which was very cool and it was a huge honor to even be thought of in that way. Also, when my talk went up, they both shared it on their Twitter page and then they contacted me, which was a huge surprise. And they asked me to become an ambassador for them. So I'm now a, a youth ambassador for UNICEF and I'm really looking forward to kind of getting involved and working with them in the coming months. I was gonna wait until after my leaving cert, but I was like, you know what, YOLO, just do it now. Um, I think the area that I'm most interested in working with and the one that I will be working with them most on is the issue of equality in education, specifically in this kind of time of crisis. And you'll be hearing more from that in the coming months. Also, something that I did this month was um, UNICEF asked me to s deliver a speech similar to that of the pajama talk, as it's now being called, at an event for them that they're holding for young people next March. Now, unfortunately, the date clash, I'm going to be in New York then, which I will be explaining later. But luckily, I was able to record a video message which will be played on the day. So I'm still gonna get to kind of share my message and hopefully encourage young people to get involved in changing the world around them and taking action now. Another thing that happened this month that was quite exciting is I was contacted by LSN Global, a magazine and they asked me to do an interview with them for a spread that they're doing in the magazine on you know inspiring teenagers and young people changing the world so of course i said yes and i had a very lovely interview with them i uh, spoke a lot about you know my day-to-day -day life and what i like to do but also the brands that i use which is something that i don't usually talk about that often um and then they sent a photographer to my house which was kind of cool um for a photo shoot which i had this morning um, and it was definitely one of the weirder photo shoots that I've ever done because not only were there pictures of me but then he had to take pictures of like the inside of my fridge and uh, the my bookshelves and stuff uh, because it's kind of all about the brands and what I like in my life. So that was this morning and that was very exciting uh, but now I'm going to have to get back to my studies but on a personal note I did as I said I did my pre's this month and luckily all the time that I'm missing from school didn't really affect my results that much so I was very pleased with that and very happy with that and hopefully that might give me a little leeway with teachers and with my parents to keep doing all the extra stuff that I'm doing outside school because as I said last month that's where the real learning is. Also on a personal note 
This month I voted for the very first time, which was really exciting. Uh, but I actually drove my own way down uh, with my mom in the passenger seat to the voting station to go in and vote. So I felt very grown up really. First of all I was going in to vote but also I was actually driving down. So I suppose that's all thanks to Nissan for giving me that sense of freedom and independence which I will have even more when I pass my driver's test. Speaking of passing my driver's test, um, I finished my lessons this month so now it's just kind of going into extra lessons and waiting until I get my test date but I have to thank my, my uh, driving instructor Eugene, he was very patient with me and he's a really good teacher and I just, I have loved learning to drive so much, I've realised that I actually enjoy driving. Something else rather interesting that happened to me this month, I'm sure you, many of you will have heard of the EDF energy competition controversy. So essentially what happened is um, EDF energy held a science idea competition that was all about encouraging girls to get into STEM, but they awarded the top prize to a boy. Now there was a lot of uproar over this and people complaining that they shouldn't have awarded it to a boy, that this will in fact discourage girls from getting into STEM. But I actually wrote a blog post reacting to both the competition and the fallout from it, uh, taking a contrary view. And this was actually picked up by the Huffington Post, the Telegraph, the Daily Mail and BizTech UK. So I think it was nice that um, my perspective as a girl in STEM got circulated, many people agreed with it. Um, and a lot of people debated about it, which I think was quite healthy and it's, you know, it's good to get that dialogue out there. But I suppose just in case there are any girls in STEM listening to this vlog, I would say don't be discouraged from entering into the STEM sector by the fact that a boy has won this competition. Because that doesn't devalue your talent, this doesn't make you any less capable of getting involved in the world of STEM. So just keep going, don't take no for an answer and just continue to follow your dreams. So I guess that's all from me for the month of February. Uh, March looks extremely exciting, probably the busiest month that I've had since that week in November that I had to go up and down to Dublin like four times. There's gonna be a lot happening, uh, starting off with a visit to a very famous address next week, so you're gonna have to Wait, either watch my Twitter or wait to watch next month's vlog to find out what that what that is about. And shortly after, I'm going to head off to New York for the Three Dot Dash Just Peace Summit of Global Teen Leaders. So I'm very much looking forward to that. And there's going to be a lot of other extra bits that I don't even have time to cover right now. But you will be hearing all about them next month. So until then, stay safe, drive safe, and I hope everyone has a wonderful March.